Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. For our first segment, we're going to go ahead and talk about ALR's brand new video. And in this video, she has some bad news to relay. What could it be? In our previous live stream, we did share a screenshot of her answering questions on Instagram. And she had said in regards to her WLS that she had some bad news. So now the time has finally come for her to address this situation. And then later on in the video, we will talk about an apology that Foodie Beauty actually put on her community tab. But is it too little, too late? All that and more coming up on today's edition of Girl Talk. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Do you guys think I look like a social studies teacher? Because that's kind of the vibe I was getting. Um, <laughs> all right, you guys, so I wanted to start off by talking about this new video from AOR. I decided to do more of a recap instead of a reaction video today. Save everybody a little bit of time, including myself. Now, this video is actually called, it was all selfish. This video was actually called, I Got Bad News. She begins the video by saying that she is struggling with some mental moments at this time, and that is why her uploads have been relatively sparse lately. And because she hasn't been feeling the best, she doesn't want to be on camera looking like a 2019 situation. Y'all know, y'all know. She's just not train wreck enough anymore. Or maybe it's just that she isn't willing to show that side of herself to her audience. And even though she could increase her view count, it's just not worth it to her anymore. But I have to wonder how much is wifey behind the scenes pulling the strings? I think that Becky just kind of let her do whatever, but I wouldn't be surprised if wifey has a bit more impact on her life than Becky. Becky was trying to get through her own hard times and she just didn't really have the mental energy to tell Amber no. So she always got what she wanted. But today Amber has some bad news bears. She begins talking about these vitamins that she has been taking recently. And it was interesting because she said that she had anxiety about taking these vitamins, but not when it came to popping those loophole schmettables, if you know what I mean. She has been saying that she gets about 4,000 steps a day. And to be honest, when I'm doing nothing, I get about three to 4,000 steps a day. Like I have checked on my phone. I'm just confused what exactly she is doing because I think 4,000 steps is pretty average for even like a sedentary office worker. But I guess it is a step up for Amber. She says that she is trying and she walks around her kitchen island. She walks from one side of the apartment to the other. And I guess that's good. I mean, we always want her to do what she can, right? But I don't see her taking Twinkie for walks. I think that that's wifey's job. Just my opinion. She starts talking about how she is being seen for ADHD. And I was just thinking hyperactivity question mark, but she won't be seen for five months. Amber is making big changes in her weight loss journey. It's going to be shocking, she says, for some. Um, some of you are probably gonna be shocked. Absolutely shocked. But I have to do what is right for me. But I have my doubts that anyone's shocked by this turn of events. Amber talks about how this surgery is a really big deal, and it is. That is a big lifestyle change, especially for someone like her. She claims that she is being honest and upfront. So Amber talks about the elephant in the room. Lately, she has been saying that she does not binge, that she doesn't have BED, but now she is admitting that she was diagnosed in the past. It's just getting confusing, girl, and many people suspected that she was beginning to move away from that because she just wanted to get approved for this surgery as soon as possible. Amber sees binging so much different than the way others see it. Everything is always different for her, you know? She admits that she got to this size by massively overeating, but when she watches 600 pound life, she can't relate because she would never eat that much. I just get the feeling our girl is not being honest or maybe her perception is just extremely skewed. But also I think TLC exaggerates everything because hello TV. Always remember entertainment comes first with any of these programs. ALR claims that she has not slipped up since December, but she must have been overeating, right? Because based on the last weigh-in, she hasn't lost a pound. This is why people just don't believe her because the math is not mathing. So the 
bad news is that her new dietitian, this one didn't block her, told her that in order to get approved for this WLS, she has to go a full year without binging. Now, remember a couple years back, she had gone to a different doctor about WLS and they basically told her the same thing. I think this is pretty standard protocol, no? And if Amber stuck with that original doctor, she could have been post up by now. I hope this doesn't deter her because one year, I mean, she has been at this for her whole life. So one year she can do that. It'll be here before you know it. But Amber was going through this process so fast, it almost seemed too good to be true. In my opinion, if she doesn't have the will to do this, then she's just not ready. Simple as. Amber admits that she has been struggling when she wanted to come on YouTube to discuss this and she had a breakdown in front of her dietitian. I really think she should look on the bright side and see this as a good situation. It's almost like a test and her life is literally on the line here. Amber wanted to get this surgery before summer and thought that she could just breeze through, but it's not going according to her plan. She again compares herself to 600 pound life and it seems so fast, but really isn't that filmed over the course of a year or more? I don't know, but I wouldn't compare myself to a TV show because that's the point of the show. They probably do rush it a bit. She talks about giving up in the past and thinking that she is a failure and it seems like she is giving up, but she could use this time to really prepare for this, not physically, but especially mentally. She says that she was able to stay on track because the surgery was around the corner, but has she been on track? She isn't weighing in anymore and the previous video felt like it was off for show. She is being very pessimistic and sees this as a giant gap of time that she will eventually fail. I think that Amber should think of this as the 10-year journey that it was. She started YouTube in 2013 and this could just be that last 10 months out of this whole 10 years. Just a more optimistic way to look at it. But she says that she has another plan coming up and she's going to show us that in the next video. Public perception has been pretty bad on this video. People are upset with Amber, but not many people are shocked. But there are plenty of encouraging comments telling her to stick with this. I wonder what the little baguettes think. I mean, this is their first cycle, isn't it? I don't know what's next for Amber or if this surgery is even still on. If she will stick to this or not, but I really think she should because she's running out of time. All right, you guys. So for the rest of the video, I thought we could do a little unscripted chit chat, rumor and speculation regarding Foodie Beauty. What's next? Her little apology tour situation. It doesn't seem to be going over very well. I did see a lot of people talking about how she was in Skinny Queen React slash Sarah Jane's side chat trying to apologize. If you guys remember Sarah Jane and Farida had panels with Murad, uh, Salah's friend, and Mr. Shabib, and that really upset Chantal. She went off. That was the Valentine's Day rage, which is now two weeks ago. But we did see a rage from her just last week, and people are still reeling from the FFG BBJ Chantal situation. I did see that FFG posted a uh, update on BBJ. It's nice to hear that she is doing well and adjusting to her new home. I know that that has to be difficult for little BBJ. Wishing the best for BBJ. But let's take a look at this recent community tab from Foodie Beauty. This is from 14 hours ago. She is starting her apology tour, but to be honest, I believe that it is too little too late. She says, hi, I want to be a better person. I am sorry to all I have hurt with my words. I didn't see myself. I mean, really see myself and how I acted. I know I have said hurtful things to others during my time on the internet, and it really makes me feel like crap. I will keep trying to become a better person. Thanks for being patient with me. I know I am not the easiest person to follow or even like. And while I don't want to live my life trying to please others, I also don't want to live my life hurting others. I just want to be ease, really. I need to ignore the rest and always try to be kind. People are done, girl. Like, even before the whole BBJ situation, I mean, I really do believe that this was her her all-time low, as we talked about in Friday's video with this cat and how she let those paws go until BBJ was obviously in extreme pain. And if you just compare that to all the other things that she has done, most of that was words like the Cuba rage, the pumped up kicks. We have heard her say some of the vilest things that I have ever heard on the internet during her tenure here on YouTube. Her driving while under the... 
is worse because she puts people at risk, not to excuse the behavior, but that's just my opinion. And if she's really serious about this, which she's probably not, and now that she's going back to Kuwait, I don't really know what's next for her channel, if the views are going to drop off. I mean, she did get a little boost in views because of this BBJ drama. But when she goes back to Kuwait and it's just a repeat of what happened last fall into the winter, I don't really know how many people are going to stick around. Maybe that's the reason for this apology. She's trying to get people to come back, but I just think it's t way too little too late. I also saw this community tab from S Jam, which I thought I would share with you guys because why not? Million dollars, Sean Annabella towel is going to leave the villa full of crap. The place has so much stuff in it still screwing over Pete's as he is the one the landlords will go after for all the disposal and cleaning fees. Keep trying to run from everything to your fake fairy tale. Ever know anyone who met someone moved across the world, got married, gave up pets of 20 years, friends of decades, all in four months. No, because it does not happen in reality. I do have to say SJM snapped with this one. That's kind of what I'm looking forward to at this point. Like what's going to happen? What will become of Pete's of my mind? Because we never really got a straight answer. I mean, supposedly he's going to be renting a room. That's what Chantal has said. I don't know if maybe she's footing the bill for the first couple of months. I wouldn't, obviously I wouldn't rely on that. She's so unreliable. Or is Pete's actually going to get, you know, whatever job he can get? This is a desperate situation. He doesn't have the luxury of being choosy with his job situation right now. He should just realize that it's, doesn't have to be a permanent position. He could do anything, you know, like a gas station for now until he finds something else. You got to do what you got to do, right? She also posted this um, inspirational message on her community tab. Remember, you are stronger than you think and the future holds good things for you. Girl, I just get the feeling this Kuwait arc part two, it's either going to be really boring or the entire marriage is going to implode and then she will be left with nothing nothing. And everything and everybody that she left behind for this man, well, they're not going to be there to help her pick up the pieces. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. People are upset with Amber. People are done with Foodie. It's a girl explosion. This could really go anywhere. I see Amber continuing to do the same old thing. We're going to get a new diet plan. But foodie, I don't really know what the future holds. I could see this whole thing imploding in the coming months. Or I could see it just being Kuwait Arc Part 2. Who knows? Maybe Mr. Shabib has a card up his sleeve that could definitely shake things up and keep them interesting. But when it comes to foodie beauty, expect the unexpected anything could happen. I gotta go eat some birthday cake because I am officially 30 years old. <sighs> Mixed feelings. That's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.